Well, uh, hello everybody and welcome back here to Plots vs Zombies. Now we did It's Raining Seeds in the last episode, Be Gold in the Hopathlon livestream. Though that brings us to Invisigul. And for reasons you won't see, this can be one of the harder ones. Could be fun, let's give it a go. Okay, so you can see the zombies we're fighting against. And we don't get to pick. We just get to put Brains. and hope for the best and it's a it's a, a a lake episode as well so that's just gonna add to the fun really isn't it so stick some squashes out here uh, a one-off defense they're pretty good um. and they've already uh, helped us out there as you can tell, uh, we can't see where the zombies are coming, so we're just going to have to just put things down and hope for the best. Now we have a last line of defense, which is good, but, ah, okay, fortunately there was a zombie coming down there, squash caught him, and until we, until we, we know we have a line of defense. We don't know where these are coming down, and this is this is really quite stressful to play, to be honest with you, which just adds to the fun of it. Uh, two zombies walking down here, and we're done, but fortunately, we finally got another pea shooter there. And just in time, by the looks of it. Uh, okay, we'll stick a replacement squash there. Some of the zombies we get are quite advanced ones. There can be so there's going to be some bucket heads at the very least, and we can't tell what's coming, which is making for great YouTube, I should imagine. Oh, well done, squash. Okay, another well-timed pea shooter there. Two hordes of zombies coming. Oh, he's getting close. I think we'll invest in one of those. That'll give him a chance to, to wipe things out there. Okay, and we'll put... Right. I think there's a metal, a bucket head coming down here. It certainly sounds like it. And we'll get you there. And now we finally have a row of pea shooters. Now let's see if we can get some better defenses going. As well, getting close to our first horde, and I don't know about you, but I don't think we're prepared for it. Um, there, I think. See, if we can take out that bucket head a little bit faster. Sorry about the lack of videos last week. I've had an exceptionally crazy few weeks and it's just continuing. Um, important reasons, I am going through a round of interviews for a new job. Or, let me rephrase that, a job. And I really... Oh, cone head. I'm glad I put a second one down there. Right, stick you there. Yeah, so that's that's occupied an awful lot of my week. Oh. oh dear, that's not good. That's not good at all. No, we're going to use off. Oh. Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, we'll stick you there. Okay, right, so we've used up our first lawnmower. Uh, this is a good opportunity to get a defense across there. The water-based defenses are by far some of the hardest in the game to maintain. Right, what we'll do is we'll give a chance for a few people to uh, 
here. And then we're going to use one of these. There we go. That'll give our defences time to kick in. Pop you there as well. Okay, looks like we might be making it past this first wave. There, I think. Well, let's put a squash there. That'll help. There. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good. How are you going to get that dolphin in time? Right, we'll pop you there. Okay. Right, we've still got plenty of time to the next wave, which is good. Ah, finally got rid of that uh, Jack in the Box zombie. I hate them. The sound of them, if nothing else. It's always very, very annoying. Okay. Right. Reason why I'm putting these lily pads here is the dolphins will get up to them, will jump over them, and then get bopped by the walnuts. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got trapped by the walnuts. I couldn't see straight for a week. Put you there. There we go. Yeah, I had a feeling there was something bad there. Right, I think we've got a. Uh, a bucket head there. I'm going to save this walnut. There's a few places we could use it. I think we'll probably need it soon. Get another lily pad there. Yes, we're getting far more bucket heads by the sound of it. Right, we'll save that. Oh, that's not good. Come on, give me a squash. Oh, the sound! Oh, that's horrible. Come on, give me a squash. Put you down instead. Okay, we're not dealing with this one very well, are we? There we go. Right, finally got him. We've got fairly good offensive power now. I'm still not happy with our defences. Right. Okay, where are you coming? I think you're probably coming down here, aren't you? Let's make use of one of those. Perhaps a chance to get this sorted out. There. Oh, just. Okay. where it gets utterly chaotic. Let's give ourselves a bit of a chance here. Slow everything down. Um, I think liberal applications of squash here won't hurt. And it's now just a question of making sure we last the next few seconds. And I think we're going to be alright. Put you there. Just to, just to balance things out. Right, and there we go. We've got plenty of those, we might as well use them. Gives us a chance to just kill these things before they can do too much damage to us. And last one. 
think that's the last one. And there goes its cone. And there goes the rest of it. So, there you have it. Invisigul. Not exactly what meets the eye. So, until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Plants vs. Zombies. Thank you, and good night.